Hello all, I hope you're all doing good. Uh, I wanted to talk about, well, I guess the subject of New World Order. People fear it. People want to fight it. People don't know what it is. There's just a lot of confusion about what's going to happen soon because people feel that something is not... Uh, things are changing. People feel that. And... Uh, they want to, they want things to go back to the old days, uh, but they don't see the problem in themselves. They see the problem as outside of themselves. They see as uh, this encroaching totalitarian uh, system, and they want, uh, they want to stop it. And they hate it, and they fear it. But what they don't understand is that. This is time for judgment. This is uh, only a form of judgment, God's judgment that's coming on the world. So uh, the people themselves, they let it happen because of turning away from God, being lazy, being uh, allowing, buying into the lie of consumption and materialism. They have turned their back on God and. As a result, this is uh, inevitable. So, uh, of course, there's always hope, though. I mean, not for the society as a whole, but for you as an individual. Uh, that's what is well, the most important part is between you and your God. And it's the most important thing is that you know your God, and that He knows you, because many people will come to Jesus Christ. On the last day, they'll call him, Lord, Lord, but you'll say, I never knew you. Get away from me. And even people will go as far as saying, Lord, we prophesied in your name and we healed people in your name. But he said, get away from me. You, know, you never spent time with me. You, you're, you're doers of wickedness. What does this all mean? It means that you have to ask Jesus Christ to reveal himself to you. It's not between you and somebody else and God. It's between you and God, Jesus Christ. You have to go to Him directly. The only, the only name by which people will be saved is the name of Jesus Christ. You cannot come to the Father unless you come go through the Son. So you have to do this yourself. You have to go. You have to humble yourself, and you have to ask Jesus Christ to reveal himself to you. There is no other way. And then, if, when you do, and if you do, he will reveal himself to you, and you will know that he's real. And it's, it has nothing to do with being religious or being part of any organization. It's between you and God. There's nothing else. Nothing else matters, really. And what's coming on the world, the destruction, the war, the famine, It's inevitable, but God, but God is faithful. He will protect those who are His. I don't know how. The Bible is clear that there will be people going through the tribulation. Um, some will not see it, but the most important thing is that you know Jesus Christ. getting serious and it's getting it's getting close to that time guys so I just pray that I hope that I hope that you just go to Jesus Christ and ask him directly that's the only way if you do you will know the truth the truth will set you free if you don't you will be overwhelmed by fear um, you will be overcome by the enemy, whether extraterrestrial, extraterrestrial, or just a enemy combatant. But the world is not going to go back to the way everything was. No, anymore. Things will change. Things are going to get shaken up. Destruction and all that. And do not hate those, you know, big things that are coming in the world. 
our own sin causes this to happen. So, but there's hope in Jesus Christ. If you seek Him, if you wait on Him, if you ask and plead on Him, ask, ask for forgiveness before it's too late. The doors are closing soon. I just pray that, I just pray for more courage for all of us. That's kind of what I had on my mind today, just recently. So I hope these are some of the things you also consider, think about. Uh, I also know that a lot of people are not even thinking about it all. And they'll not be ready. So God bless you guys. Seek the Lord Jesus Christ. And, uh, seek to be pleasing to Him, most importantly, above all things. Everything else will perish. Everything else is vanity. So, God bless you guys. I hope you're doing good. Alright.